How's it going guys? We're going to work on some problems right now that involve converting units that are square and cubic. And initially they seem pretty hard, uh, but once you get the hang of the simple trick, they're not too bad. First one we're going to go from 18 square meters to square millimeters. Basically we're going to set it up just like we did with the other ones. But, so we know there's a thousand millimeters per one meter. But since this is squared and this is squared, we're just gonna square that because we'd need to do this twice. Another way you could write it is just take this fraction and put it right next to it, multiply it. Uh, but this, this probably is the simplest way. So here we go, We've got 18 times 1,000 times 1,000. So, six zeros, or we can just write 1.8 times 10 to the seventh millimeters squared. So that's not too bad. Do another one pretty simple like that. 18 cubic meters and going to try to get it into cubic millimeters. So exactly the same basis here. 18 meters cubed times, we know again there's a thousand millimeters per one meter. This time we're going to cube this. Again you can just put this fraction three times in a row, but this probably is the simplest way. Plug that in. Eight, whoops, 18 times 1,000 times 1,000 times 1,000. Seems tedious, but that's kind of just the way that I find make the fewest mistakes with. 1.8 times 10 to the 10 cubic millimeters. So not too bad. Okay, now we're gonna jump down to a new type of problem. We're gonna try to convert from, let's see here say 400, 320, or 4,320 centimeters, we'll say cubic centimeters, and we'll try to get that into, let's see, cubic feet. Okay, so we know that we have, how many centimeters per foot we have? We're gonna do 4,320 uh, 4, cubic centimeters times, we can do one inch, and there's 2.54 centimeters per one inch times one foot, and there's 12 inches per foot. That way we can cancel out the inches and we're left with feet and we cancel out the CMs once we get this cubed. So another easy way to do this type of calculation, at least I found on my calculator, is I take the five point, or oops, the uh, 2.54 times 12. So I'm figuring out what's on the bottom. That's 30.48. Now I'm just gonna do one divided by 30 0.48 so that's this whole fraction now I'm going to cube that so I think on this one it's yx3 okay so I get that really small number and then that is what I'm going to multiply by 4320 come out with <clears throat> 0 0.1525 round up that to 6 and that's going to leave us with cubic feet. Okay, cool. So that one's not too bad. Now we're on to number four here. This is going to be the last one. It's a little bit tricky of a question. So 2.4 acres, which if you're not sure, acres is just like a unit of area. And it's based on uh, 4,840 square yards. 
but we're not going to make it too easy. We're going to try to get that into, let's say, feet squared. So first off, um, one acre, now we'll do 2.4 acres times 208.75 feet per acre. That's based on the length of an acre times 208.75 feet per acre. Let's say one acre. That's based on the length. And we're just going to multiply that out. It shouldn't be too bad. 2.4 times 208.75 times 208.75 equals. It's a pretty large number there, but that's what we're going to get. 104583.75. You can round that if you want to use sig figs, but <clears throat> that's going to be feet squared. I'll round that up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1.04 times 10 to the fifth feet squared. There we go. So there's a couple of problems. Hope this helps someone.